Station Houston on Space to Ground 2 for hatch opening. Okay. Yeah, Aki, sorry, we just handed over. Um, but I wanted to let you know in step, step six, six decimal one, we do have active fire detection. And so you are go for hatch opening through nine decimal one. We'll do some ground commanding here and then start your 20 minute clock. And we can let you know when 20 minutes are up and you can ingress with the PPE. And we can also uh, let you know when the 45 minutes are up for your PPE DOF clock if you'd like. Houston Station on two Dragon Hatches open and MPEFs are closed. Happy, thanks. And Houston Station on two, sunny report, uh, visual inspection of the Dragon is good, no condensation, general conditions are good. Copy all, thanks very much. Houston Station on two for Dragon Ingress part one. Uh, step eight and nine decimal one are complete. And uh, just a couple words. Um, it was great to get into Dragon. Your East two words um, in English were, "Wow, it's pretty clean," and it's uh, it was nice to open the hatch.
Yes, SpaceX uh, demo was, of course, in May, and this is SpaceX One, and it uh, you know starts a whole uh, generation of commercial spacecraft coming up here for resupply. And um, one of the most interesting and unique aspects of this vehicle and its follow-on will be that it can bring stuff back to Earth. And uh, this vehicle right here has a freezer, which we're all anticipating and excited about going into to see what's in there that came up here. But more importantly, it's going to be bringing back samples that have been taken over the past couple of years of people living up here. And that's really important for the advancement of space flight. So congratulations to the SpaceX team. Again, an amazing vehicle. Congratulations to the U.S. space program for this next step. Thanks, Sonny. That's great to hear, and none of it would have been possible without you guys capturing Dragon. So thanks to you for all your hard work today.